the truth about overpopulation. Let's talk about it. I am your host. This topic, already popular, helped also by the uh, very popular Avengers Infinity War that came out in 2018, where Thanos, the main villain, decided that the population needed to be controlled. And let's talk about overpopulation. Is this a problem? Is this something to be worried about? Is this something that we need to fix? Should we worry about human overpopulation reaching unsustainable levels in the future? Well, the idea that our world has limited resources to support a limited amount of people is not new. What happens if the world population keeps growing without limits? The clearest sign of overpopulation is when survival itself starts getting harder for the average person compared to earlier generations. Technology, okay, has continued to improve the quality of life for many people since the agricultural revolution. revolution. And the speed of advancement kicked into overdrive in the last century following the Industrial Revolution. Revolution. If the middle class is really shrinking in the Western countries, population could be one population of the factors. Could be one of the factors. More people on Earth. More competition for each individual person. Think about it. If resources are limited, then the cost to attain these resources will rise with the population growth. This is the rule of scarcity. Growing the world, the population creates more scarcity for the, for the resources people depend on. Okay. Okay. Nature itself, don't be surprised by this, has a built-in system to guard against overpopulation on Earth with natural checks and balances. In simple terms, all of life on Earth is controlled based on Ease of survival. Populations are controlled based on natural predators, disease, environmental changes, and access to food. The analogy for nature's system would be the relationship between grass, zebras, and lions. Zebras help to control the grass population, for example. If the grass population started spreading out of control, this would create an abundance of food for the zebras. More food available for zebras means easier survival for each individual zebra. With easier survival comes more healthy adults producing, reproducing, and rising zebra populations. Okay. A higher zebra population would eventually lead to less grass available for each zebra. It also means easier access to food for lions. With more lions having easier access to food, the lion population rises as well. Ultimately, the overpopulation of grass creates a domino effect that leads to other increased populations. But no population growth is sustainable forever. Eventually, the system will reverse itself through the same domino effect. That started once the population of zebras grows too large. Once the population, once the population of zebras grows too large, food will become scarcer for each zebra. The grass will start to get depleted faster than it can be replaced. Okay. Leading to grass becoming scarce. Only some zebras will have the access to only enough some food. zebras will have access to enough food. Now life is harder for each zebra. Less zebras are growing into healthy adults in order to reproduce, okay? The high zebra population also creates a high lion population. Remember this. Safety from predators becomes another factor making life harder for the average zebra. So now you have all these And zebras. they're being hunted by lions, okay? Lions, they can't find food, they're getting hunted by lions. So what do you think is gonna happen? As life gets harder, the zebra population declines. The average zebra is now weaker and less physically robust because less food is available. 
they become slower and easier for lions to catch. As lions have so much, lions have so much food to go around, they become overpopulated as well. Lions. What do you think this is going to lead to? We decline to? in the zebra population. This means more competition for food among lions. Okay. Just like with the zebras. Only some lions can survive and get access to food while weaker lions starve out. So you have all these lions and they're all fighting over a small amount of zebras. Who wins? The strongest, the fastest, aggressive lions. The weaker lions, they starve. Okay. Now, fewer lions grow into healthy adults to reproduce. Eventually, the lion population declines as well. What do you think happens now? Once both the zebra population and the lion population declines significantly, the grass population starts to recover and the cycle starts over. Okay. Overpopulation is, in fact, a very natural occurrence that happens when one species an overabundance becomes of resources. When one species has an overabundance of resources. So you might say humans now have an overabundance of resources. But let's see where this goes. And just like the grass example, this overabundance is never permanently sustainable, okay? Never permanently sustainable. Eventually, resources become scarcer, and the overpopulated species experiences more internal competition, okay? In other words, in other words, in other words, life gets harder. Life gets harder. When life gets harder, for the overpopulated species, a reversal is usually right around the corner. Okay. If humans are overpopulated right now, there's only a matter of time before things get reversed. In the last few centuries, you might notice, humans have used intelligence and technology to get around, around nature's natural checks and balances, such as disease, food scarcity, etc. But humans are still a product of nature. Eventually, the human population will peak and go into a decline. Just like with lions. Just like with lions and People zebras. at the bottom will struggle. Raising kids is too expensive. You can say this is nature's way of controlling the population through personal choice. See, nature always wins in the end. Why is this important? Because the wise person understands. Okay. Trying to save the world is a lot harder than trying to save yourself. Thus, the wise person wants to be in a good position. Growing the world if and when this peak population comes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content. And visit www.foresightseen.com for additional reading material.